o'clock and only on two tonight, a Houston woman wanted, accused of robbing a mother and then driving away while the victim held on to her car. Channel 2 anchor Jonathan Martinez live at the CVS off Gray and Bagby in Midtown and just spoke with the woman who says this happened while she was trying to sell an old phone. Jonathan. As a victim in this case did what a lot of people do, she turned to technology to get rid of some of her stuff. In this case, she went to offer up to sell her cell phone. Little did she know what would happen after she met up. It was really bad. <laughs> a robbery victim still too shaken to share her identity, recounting the terrifying ordeal she'll never forget. I stayed three, three weeks in bed. I couldn't even move. After putting a cell phone up for sale on OfferUp and finding a potential buyer, the victim says she met that person and her passenger at a CVS in Midtown. But the driver, later identified by court documents as Daisy Carballo, claimed she couldn't get out because of an injury. That's when the victim stepped on the SUV's step rail to show them the phone. But as soon as um, I was shown in the phone and they said that they were going to buy it, they drove off. The victim says a struggle ensued and she somehow got tangled in the seatbelt as a driver sped away, dragging her nearly three whole blocks. The driver, she was just telling the passenger, just push her, push her out. The victim eventually managed to get loose and fell to the ground, but was badly hurt in the process. Pictures of her injuries that sent her to the hospital, a painful reminder of what she went through. With the suspect and her passenger still out there, though, the victim is warning others so they, too, don't become victims. The nurses, the doctors, they were telling me that it was a really bad injuries uh, that they didn't even know how I survived. And according to court records, the driver in this case was already arrested for a similar type crime in the past. If you know anything about this case, you're urged to contact authorities. We are reporting live tonight from Midtown. I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.